Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We most likely have another guaranteed Team of the Season pack coming today on this game. And I think that is going to present an opportunity to buy some cards based off of the market movements we saw yesterday and how we expect things to go down today with a guaranteed Community Tots pack expected to drop today. So we're going to talk about that. And also, you might need to check your club because there might be some players in your club right now that are selling for crazy prices because of one specific SBC that EA dropped yesterday on this game. So I want to take a look at that and some more Team of the Season leaks and news and what we're expecting on the market the next couple of days with all that unfolding for Premier League Tots just around the corner. If you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you are new. We're going to go over the content yesterday because there was actually four new SBCs dropped. It didn't feel like it was that exciting of a day, but four SBCs, there's a lot going on there. First of all, I want to talk about the player SBC that we had, the Below. Uh, I believe is how you pronounce his name. Uh, the J is silent, I am told. But uh, this is a nice Air Divisie goalkeeper card that if you're running some Dutch or Air Divisie links in your team, this is a very cheap and doable goalkeeper SBC that fits in nicely. Now, I feel like this SBC was slept on yesterday because of everything else that was going on. Not a lot of people like it. It does link nicely if you're running Air Divisie squads. If you take a look around the rest of the market, some goalkeepers are absolutely in the mud. Kind of just, uh, you know, secretly. Not many people talking about this yesterday. Chesney dropped from 65k to 45,000 coins. I know we have Premier League Tots upcoming. I know that there have been a lot of Juve links recently with the Benucci that's been very hyped. You have Rabio recently, right? So, I mean, keep an eye on some of these goalkeepers that dropped off a lot yesterday. I didn't even realize that right away that there were some definite dro price drops on goalkeepers as people were doing this Beach Little SBC and linking to the Tots cards that are out right now, like your Truda, Bergwijn, and all that stuff. So, that was kind of a uh, less hype SBC yesterday, but it did create some movements. Now, the other SBCs that did make movements, first of all, the return of that five gold rare Netherlands players pack uh, inside of the SBC called the E Divisi Final, which is going to be, I guess, a pro event. It's upcoming. I've also never seen an SBC with a QR code uh, on the actual SBC picture there. But this SBC we're going to be able to do again today. It's pretty easy to do. It's pretty cheap. And you get that five rare gold Dutch players pack that crashed the entire market on Saturday this weekend. But this pack is untradeable this time. But it's probably worth doing just because, of course, there are so many Dutch Tots cards that are in packs right now that you could get something good from. That didn't really impact the market, though, because it was, again, untradeable, but one that you can do every single day. So maybe watch out and try to do that one today on this game. Now, the other SBCs that we had that moved things, Air Divisie, Tots, Upgrade. We're going to talk about that in a second. The bigger one that we had yesterday, you're like, Nate, that was the big one, the Air Divisie, Tots, Upgrade. Well, no, this one, the Tots Challenge 3, which everybody did, of course, to get the XP an 86 double is the pack you get inside of it, which is almost like a guaranteed Tots. Not quite, but very high percentage chance of a Tots card. I know some people are going to be saving this for Premier League Tots, upcoming but the reason this impacted the market so much is because it is tough to get this SBC done 81 rated 31 chemistry it's hard it only a certain number of players can be used to get this done with a certain number of combinations and that is making some specific players on this game go up like crazy right you can take a look at some of the SBC solutions inside of this and see right away that there are some crazy high prices you guys might need to check your clubs because there are players that are selling for like nine to ten thousand coins right now on this market because they have the links right I mean 1700 for Lissandro Martinez this is also a great opportunity that if you'd like to trade with SBC solutions SBC solution trading right now would be absolutely insane Bergeis is 900 coins I doubt it's going to stay that way also position change and uh, trading with that, like Bergeis is a cam card, but if you put the right wing position change on him, I bet he's selling for a lot more than 900 coins on this market right now. But players like Saka yesterday, Ramsdale, um, you know, Eric Dyer, I saw was 8,000 coins. Look at all these guys, 8,000 coins for him. Ferran Torres was another one that was all the way up, I believe at around eight to 9,000 coins. Check your clubs, guys, because there are some random players uh, like like I packed uh, yesterday just from a regular gold pack that I got from doing one SBC. All of a sudden, I had a Townsend and a Watkins in my club that were 8,400 and 9,700 coins a piece at the time. So the, the prices were probably a little bit higher yesterday when the SBC first dropped, but the prices are still high. So make sure you check your club. A lot of players that are up in price are from the top 
five leagues and also top nine nation because you can only have max two nations and max two leagues i believe it is in that sbc i haven't done it yet i'm gonna wait till after rivals rewards to get it done so maybe the prices are just a little bit cheaper as a lot of people i think are playing rivals this week with just the tots demand going probably have a little bit market impact there tomorrow but that is crazy check your club for any of those players that could be ridiculously high in price because of that Tots challenge number three. And like I'm going to do, I'm going to save that pack, guys. I'm going to save that for uh, the Premier League team of season coming this weekend because that's kind of where my mind is shifting. We're getting close to Premier League Tots, but today we should have one last guaranteed SBC that could kind of regain the focus back on a community tots for some trading. And we'll talk about that in a second because we're going to bounce off of that idea with this Air Divisi tots upgrade. Yesterday, they dropped it. It was cheap, 84 rated squad, and a lot of people did it. It's not that expensive, but it gets a nice, at least a fodder tots card in your club. If you're doing some player picks, you get some 83s, you get some 84s, you throw this together, and it's really easy to do. Now, you look at the Air Divisi team of the season cards, and you see some of their prices, especially on the more meta guys, are up and that is because this is a very common trend that we see every single year i was kind of waiting to talk about it too much uh, until we saw it happen yesterday but this is a common trend we have every single year is people wait for the guaranteed tots pack to try to pack the card that they want to buy for their team they don't get it and they go out and buy it javi simon 775 yesterday after the SBC drops or right around the time of the SBC dropping, he goes all the way up to almost 900,000 coins. After that, as people didn't pack him from the guaranteed SBC, they go out on the market and they buy him also with these cards nearing the end of their time in packs, right? It's Wednesday. There's not a ton of supply upcoming still for these cards. People were fearing that as well. And they were looking to that as a buy time. Same thing happened with Bergwine. I bought like three Bergwines yesterday in the panic. You know, it's best to look at cards like a Bergwine like this, who is, you know, very in demand, but also he's going to get packed a few times from an Air Divisi Tots upgrade. I actually packed him from my upgrade. He went from 72K down to 64. I sniped three of them at 64, 65, and I sold them at 77 to Lazy's literally in a couple hours after that, as people went right back to the market to buy these cards. So that is the market movement that we're going to be focusing on a lot today and I think there's a lot of potential to actually buy community tots players today on this game let's dive right into the conversation because I know there's a lot of you guys that maybe you want to buy these guys for your team you want to try them out so you want to buy them I'm looking at a couple of specific players from this team that I think could be going further up in price today after or maybe even right when the community tots guaranteed SBC is dropped. Well, first things first, a, a community tots guaranteed SBC is expected for today, but I still don't think there's a pack in the code. And if there's not one added before content today, watch out for a foot scoreboard on Twitter for maybe a leak there. That could be a big question mark and maybe some of this would not even happen. But we expect to have a community tots pack. It's, it's, it's a staple every single year. We get a guaranteed tots upgrade. We've talked about it in the past couple of days. Now, Guaranteed Tots community team of the season. How much is it going to cost? First of all, it's not going to be as cheap as it was last year, in my opinion. Last year, it was dirt cheap, but the squad last year was a lot cheaper as well. Uh, it was 40,000 coins last year. It was basically one Tots and an 84 rated squad. Almost the same as yesterday's Air Divisi Tots upgrade, just with the team of the season player required. And that's why it's nice to have team of the season players in the club so that you're ready to go for all the upcoming upgrade packs that are going to require Tots cards. Um, and maybe that's a reason why you do the Air Divisi upgrade even though you're not expecting to pack anything sane from it but i would think they would make it a little more expensive this year i could see an 85 or maybe an 86 rated squad for a community team of the season guaranteed yes you do have a lot of players in here like tavernier uh who's really cheap you've got rice you've got ake you've got some lower tier cards in here marata kim and jay he's not that cheap but kind of cheap compared to where the SBC value probably is going to be you got a lot of expensive players too, man. Taram, Coman, Jesus, Sanchez, Rodrigo. You still have three, four players with Bernardo Silva over a million coins. I think this SPC today might be the most expensive Community Tots upgrade that we have seen. I think 85s are a good club stock here at about 8.5K. They're low again. We talked about this in, in the stream earlier today that these guys just seem to drop every single night. But the weekend league is ending this morning. And I think that's where some of the supply is coming from. Those rewards that are continuously open during the first two days of this week when they're normally not. That's impacting the fodder prices a little bit differently. And of course, the store packs that are out. So I look at 85s today because... I just think that might be the sweet spot for you put a TOTS card into an 80, 86 rated squad, 85 rated squad, 
And then what are you going to need to fill out the rest of that squad with? Probably 84s and 85s. You know, as the TOTS players are all 88 and above. So that's why I think the 85s could be a good look today because I think they're going to make the um, community team this season guaranteed if it drops today a bit more expensive. Now, once that SBC drops, what we're going to be doing is watching the market very closely. I think this is an opportunity to A, maybe buy a card for your team. If you want to risk it a little bit, um, I know that a lot of you guys want to buy a guy like Taram. You're like, Nate, when can I buy this Taram card? He's been hovering around 330 to 360K between the last couple of days. Today, this is going to be a card as an 89 rated. He's going to get packed a decent amount from a Community Tots upgrade pack. And because of that, people are going to be selling the card that they have in their club tradable. And that's where you see the price drops. That's why Bergwijn dropped yesterday. That's why Gear Truita dropped yesterday. But they went back up afterwards because the people that wanted to actually buy them didn't pack them, right? So you have a combination of people packing the card they already own tradable, listing it up on the market. You have this window of about maybe an hour, probably less than that, of card prices that drop on some of these guys. And then they end up going back up because you pick the cards that are the most meta and popular, and then their prices just kind of go rising back up. So guys that I would be very interested in watching today for this exact same type of fluctuation would be, first of all, Taram Ake. And if I had to go for another lower budget option, I would look at Ben Acer. I know that the Serie A team this season isn't like on the doorstep. You know, we got Prem next. Uh, but I would watch Ben Acer and Robertson as well because those who could in the middle to lower tier cards that are not super expensive, but they're cards that people maybe want to buy for their team and that are going to get packed somewhat often in those guaranteed Community Tots packs. Of course, we're going to see a lot of De Gea, Declan Rice, Tavernier, Kim Min Jae and stuff like that. But, you know, Ake's I think are going to pop a decent amount today. Taram being 89 rated. I think he's going to get packed a decent amount as well, but there's a lot of demand for these guys. So I think that's going to be a really great opportunity to trade. I'm not saying their prices are just going to absolutely go to the moon from here on, you know, to the rest of the year. But for the short term, next couple of days into this weekend, these are some of the most affordable TOTS cards that people can get right now in this game. And it's still very high because it's the first team of team of the season. So I feel pretty confident about these guys. Having some very healthy fluctuations today should be a really good time to trade with them or B, buy some of them for your team. But that's kind of how the fluctuation works, right? Like we looked at with the Eredivisie cards yesterday, there's a bit of a panic and then the prices just kind of go straight up. Now, just really quickly, let's cover kind of the top tier cards, right? This is the this is the fluctuation. 60K, SBC comes out, boom, down and then kind of right back up in the hours afterwards. Guys like Gabriel Jesus, Alexis Sanchez, and Rodrigo. I mean, look at Javi Simons yesterday. You know, you see the price going up almost instantly afterwards. If there is any panic selling on those three guys, also including Bernardo Silva in there, if there is any drops in prices before the SBC comes out today, I would look at buying those cards then, right? If there's any dips like this, you saw, I mean, Alexis Sanchez is 1.35 almost right now. He was 127. If there's any sell-off before the SBC for your top tier most meta cards and community tots, I would look to buy those then before the SBC comes out. The only thing that could impact those cards would be that Premier League Tots coming this weekend and the, the big cards that could be dropped during that. That's the only other thing that could make those guys just drop with some panic selling, right? And that goes for all of these cards. That's a little bit of the risk that is still out there. But I think there's just so much demand for gameplay with these Tots cards as the only Tots cards in the game right now that you're going to see some positive movements there. So we've talked about that plenty, but really, I'm going to be watching that like really, really closely today. The community Tots cards, how they move on the market, because it should be a good day to make some coins there. Now, the market in general, prices are still chilling, right? There's stuff that is up a little bit, stuff that is kind of down a little bit. I mean, the TOTS cards in general, we talked about it. I sold off all the ones that I was trying to flip and trade with because um, yesterday heading into the content because I felt like yesterday was kind of the peak and it definitely was. Ake was 240,000 coins. Coman was 570 again. Um, I sold my Rodrigo at 1.61. Now, some cards are still up a little bit from where they were and especially if you go to the out of packs market, you know, like Ferland Mendy, who you saw on my transfer list, he was uncharacteristically low yesterday at like 550,000 coins. I picked up two there and now he's over like around 600k. So I picked one up at 532 and 550, sold them both at 600 and 610k. 
right around there. So there are still good trades to be had on the out of packs market. I picked up two Philip Lom Trophy Titans for 350, 310 and 320, I think is where I bought them at. And he is all the way up to now, I believe like 370. I just had one sell. That might've been a lazy sale, but he's not too far off of 370. I might just hop on some of these bids still because there are some low prices out there and fluctuations are still good. It's really just kind of like we're ending in the weekend league. The gameplay demand is kind of less now because weekend league is over. But then right around the corner heading into this weekend, it's going to start to ramp up again. So like we've been talking about with Premier League special cards, keep an eye on Prem specials because whether you buy before we get the Premier League Tots team or the leagues for those, um, later on this week, or if you want to buy and wait until Friday, I'm kind of leaning towards waiting till Friday on some of these cards because of how things transpired last week. Remember the lowest point was on Thursday, but I think it might be different this week because the market's a lot healthier and, and everybody is not like just waiting for team of the season to start. Like team of the season is here now. A lot of prices have started to go back up already. So that's kind of where I'm at. It's going to be a mixed kind of bag for me. I've already started to buy a couple prem, uh, special cards that are out of packs that I think could rise. Like I have the Salahs that I bought earlier in the week. I still have the Akes that I bought at like 190. I mean, he's not going to go any lower than that, I don't think. So that's why I already picked up those cards and why I'm holding them. But still continue to watch that market because those are going to be really good buys heading on to the future as well. I really like those Prem out of pack specials. But with the confirmation of another leak that we had yesterday from Foot Sheriff, he tweeted out ASM. Now we've talked about ASM. We've been wondering where this SPC is. And he tweeted out yesterday, he said, ASM is coming as a TOTS moment. He's already leaked this card, so he's kind of just like building the hype again, I guess. I'm not entirely sure why he's tweeting this again, because he already tweeted that um, St. Maximin was in. Now, he doesn't say SBC in the graphic here, but in the graphic, it does say SBC, guys. I'm, I'm kind of torn between because this would be an insane card in packs, but I really feel like this could be our Friday SBC player. Now, the more that I look at it, the more that I feel it out, it might be our comparison to the Araujo that we had dropped last Friday during Community Tots. This might be our card this Friday for Premier League Tots. Again, unknown. We'll still have to see. I was hoping that it would be during this week, but you know, it is what it is. With Alan St. Maximin coming though, just as we've mentioned before, it's going to depend on how much they upgrade this card for the price and for uh, how much hype it has, but he is just an ASM card in this game is just going to bring hype regardless of the price, just like Foot Birthday Conte and Foot Birthday and Kunku did, which is why I'm being very careful and I'm going to probably stay away almost entirely from Premier League left wings and left mids. Even though Martinelli has been an absolutely insane card to trade with for me over these past couple of days, I don't want to be a buying a card like this where there's when there's potentially going to be an Alan St. Maximin coming out this weekend that people would be selling this card to go and do that SBC or maybe like Mudrick, right? Another card that I have really wanted to trade with and I even have this week, but I don't think I'm going to try to invest in him for a rise this weekend if we have a potential St. Maximin coming, whether it's in packs or uh, as an SBC. If it comes in packs, then there's probably more potential to buy the other ones. Uh, but if it's an SBC, people will craft that if it's anywhere near reasonable value and there will be some panic on those prem left mid. So I'm being very careful with those and kind of riding those off, I guess you could say. Um, even a guy like Martial, Anthony Martial, who's more of a striker, you would think he's got left mid position change on his card. He could be affected by a player like Alan St. Maximin at first and some panic selling, but then maybe after his SBC comes out, he could go up because he's also French and in the Premier League, which would be good links for a Martial card. So just something to think about there with that leak as there's still a lot of hype and potential there for that card to be coming as an SBC really soon. Now, at the same time, today on Wednesday, what are we going to be getting today that could move some things on the market? I'm looking at this at Betty Pele because hopefully today on Wednesday, we get some fantasy foot upgrades. We're expecting an upgrade still on Alexis Sanchez, Papin, and that a Betty. There might be some other cards, but these are the three most hyped, specifically the Alexis Sanchez and the Abedi Pele, because the final um, upgrade for not losing a game during the entire six game stretch. These cards were dropped, what, at the end of March? Man, it's been a long road for this Alexis 
fantasy foot. But here we are. He's going to go to a 94 and get three new traits, uh, which I'm guessing one of them, I don't even know what he's going to get, like flare passes or I don't know. But he's already got finesse shot, flare, and outside foot. So the trait additions may not feel that, um, I guess, needed for Alexis Sanchez. But if you have this card today, watch when the upgrade happens. I would probably try to sell in the hype. If he goes up a little bit, when the upgrade happens, maybe you take the cash there. But same thing with a Betty Pele. I've been watching this guy. He's been a great flip. He goes between like 1.02, 1.03. Zero three, and right now, look, he's 1.14 with only a couple of cards to 1.2 mil. So there's a lot of great flipping opportunity with these cards. But if the upgrades happen today, I think their prices will fall off a couple hours after the upgrade. So just be careful with the timing there. And if you don't want to risk it, as always, sell on the hype with those types of live cards because they won't be live anymore. People will say, no, Nate, they're going to go up further. They might go up a little bit further, but after that, people that have invested are going to start selling and those prices are going to go down. Now, also today, we didn't see that true Quaze objective. I'm still kind of scratching my head on what this eFigs TOTS player objective is going to be because it's supposed to be out during this week. It says each week. So I guess Joelinton maybe is that guy. I don't know. Uh, but today is a Wednesday, right? And Wednesdays always mean silver stars. So I would expect to see a silver star just like we saw last week with Haji Wright. Another silver star today, but also there's going to be some XP involved in that so that we can get ourselves some more season progress. So if you're kind of following along and moving along as fast as you can inside of season progress, I think today might be a day where people might be able to hit level 15. I think Kaiseto is about to be available. I'm definitely behind on some of the XP, but with that big objective coming today, definitely keep an eye on that because that might be the first. Um, I guess I haven't seen too many people talking about Casado. Maybe he'll be uh, claimable today if we get silver stars as some uh, additional XP. So watch out for that. The community tots guaranteed SBC is really the big one for today. Of course, you've got the refreshes of the 85 times five, and you've got the uh, refresh of that E Divisi Dutch uh, gold players pack. So other than that, really a lot of player picks are being done right now in this game. And it's just kind of like, you know, there is stuff to do with the cup mode and stuff like that. But also I feel like at the moment, some people that have already finished up the cup mode, they finished up some of those other things are feeling like this tots is lacking a little bit. Like we haven't had, there's not a super crazy grind right now. I mean, there is little bits here and there that you can grind, but without spending coins for golds on player picks, it's not like the best grind ever. At least BPM is working pretty decent right now, I hear. So that's nice. One thing I will note as well, today's kind of a, you know, a sad day, I guess, in FIFA for the fact that there's no more Team of the Weeks coming after to after today, especially with this Kamavinga. Uh, no more Team of the Weeks in FIFA. Uh, no more Team of the Weeks legit ever, if you think about it, because this is the, the last FIFA or the last Team of the Week of FIFA. I guess I couldn't say ever because there might be Team of the Weeks in EAFC next year. I would probably imagine that there will be. But this is the last Team of the Week of the year. It's going on a pack today. So RIP to Team of the Weeks. Adios. And uh, yeah, if you've invested in Team of the Week cards, you're probably hoping that they keep rising as they're not in packs. Although I do believe we will get an 81 plus double or an 81 plus Team of the Week upgrade uh, here in the next coming weeks. So EA can kind of curb those price rises if they start to happen. So that's going to be the video for today, guys. We're going to be opening Tots Guaranteed Packs today. Get your fodder ready. It's going to be a fun day of those upgrade packs and hopefully packing some of the big boys. Uh, really one last quick update here. I had a really woeful day of champs yesterday. Absolutely botched it, man. Ended up ending on nine wins. Got Red De Gea. L, I mean, it was a woeful experience. So hopefully the cup can treat us better. And I got to qualify for this upcoming weekend league where it really matters, right? That was a bad warm-up weekend for Community Tots. This weekend for Prem is where it really matters. So if you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on a comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. See you guys in the stream today. It's been Nathan Foot Account. I'll catch you guys there. Peace.